Time for some food. Now, John, this is just perfect for the weekend. Oh, it's it's perfect. autumn. I've got my autumn jumper on. Lovely. And I'm doing the best slow cooked lamb. Now, it's not. You don't have to faff around with it. Just put it in the oven okay. for five hours and leave it, and it's just phenomenal. Yum. And a lot of people get a bit afraid of lamb. They don't quite know what to do with it. Yeah. Whereas if you buy a lamb leg, which you can get from between six and ten pounds a kilo, mm. which for lamb is relatively cheap, all you need to do is just slow roast it, and you've got a gorgeous, uh, gorgeous. Roast dinner. Yeah. Great for Sunday, great for the weekend. Yeah. Great even for a Friday night. You know, if you remember to put it in the oven mm. so this morning, do it now. Put it in the, <laughs> in the oven. You know, it's gorgeous. But the, the key with this as well is these boulanger potatoes. Boulanger potatoes come from where uh, p people used to take the potatoes stacked up to the bakery when they didn't have ovens. And in the heat of the oven, they'd leave them in the oven and ah. the, the baker would cook them for everybody. Oh, that's great. So you get like a communal potato. Communal potato. But I'm not sharing today. Well, I'll mm. share with you, but nobody else. Okay. So the potatoes I've sliced very, very thinly on a mandolin. If you've not got a mandolin, just use a sharp knife and a steady eye, if you're lucky enough to have one. Um, so just put very, very thin indeed, wafer thin, and sure. pop those on. And they, that's it. Just make sure you season with every layer. So do a layer of potatoes, okay. a bit of seasoning, salt and pepper. Not too much, but just enough, because potatoes absorb flavour. They're going to mm. take it all in, so sure. make sure you season that well. OK, and then for the lamb itself, my lamb leg here, this is about one and a half kilos. Mm -hmm. So again, between six and 10 pounds a kilo. So it's, for meat, it's fairly, fairly cheap. Right. All I'm gonna do, as you can see here, I've stabbed half of the lamb quite deeply. Right. So take your rage out on this. Okay. If you're feeling a bit angry, <laughs> to stab a lamb leg, like that. And then I'm gonna marinate this with um, a really punchy, gutsy, flavorful marinade. It's right. gorgeous. So six garlic cloves. Mm -hmm. So it's quite a lot of garlic. Oh, it's good but though. It's, it's a big leg, you know. Mm -hmm. Can take it. It's good for you too. I'm going to add to that uh, some mint sauce just out of a jar, just shove it in because sure. this has got the vinegar in, in it as well. It's got a bit of vinegar in there, so it helps to uh, just balance everything out with flavour. And the most curious ingredient in my marinade is a jar of anchovies. Seriously? They, yeah, you might think lamb and anchovies. <laughs> okay. Fish, fish and lamb. But no, it's like surf and turf. But no, anchovies <laughs> is quite an Italian um, marinade for lamb because it's oh. an umami flavour. It's a mouthful, full of flavour. Okay. It's great. If you can get it out of the blooming jar. You can get jar, it out of the jar. Just keep it's going. hanging on in there, isn't it? But it will come out. It will, it will, it will. Anchovies. There, there we go. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> so that's the, uh, that's the marinade. And all you need to do is blitz that up. Again, if you've not got a food processor or one of these, just chop it. Yeah. Lots of chopping. Lots of chopping. But Anchovies, who would have thought? That's it. That's all the prep for this delicious dish. So what oh, I'm going to do is just shove this marinade onto my, onto my lamb leg. Mm -hmm. And the beauty about it is I have heard there are such things as leftovers. I've, I've never seen I've a leftover. I've heard of them, but I don't know what they are. I've never seen one. Never, never seen a leftover. But recently they exist. <laughs> But if there are leftovers, which there probably will be from a, a, leg, a leg of lamb sure, this size, big, yeah. you know, you can make lamb curry is gorgeous mm. with, with leftover lamb. And I'm using my hands unapologetically because you can't be faffing about... Oh, take its cap off. You can't be faffing about with um, a brush or something like that for this. Just get in, there, get right in there and give your hands a wash. Sure, and lamb sure. isn't as dangerous as chicken, you know, for cross-contamination. But if you keep an eye on it and wash your hands, you're fine. Sure. People worry quite a lot these days and you've just got to make sure you keep clean. So just make sure you massage that lovely massage oil into the mm -hmm. lamb leg. Pop it on top of the, of the uh, right, potatoes. Okay. So it's all going to cook? Well, what's going to happen is the lamb cries down onto the potatoes. Right. So it marinates and bastes those potatoes, because the potatoes are going to get cooked for five hours as well. Right. So they're going to be so unbelievably tender because mm. the, the lamb fat just really... Full of flavour, really, oh, yeah. So full of flavour. Wonderful. So once you've done that, you've got to make sure that you seal this really well. Right. So get some foil and make sure you just completely cover that with foil, shiny side down, obviously. Right. And that goes into the oven for about four and a half hours. Okay. After that time, turn the oven up, take the, I'll pop it there for now, take the foil off right. and cook it for another, another half hour just okay. to crisp everything up. And here, da, 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 I can, I've got asbestos hands, so I can quickly Ooh. whisk it over to you. <gasps> is my lamb leg. And don't worry if it colours, you want it to colour. Mm. All I'm going to do is just go in. Because that's just the marinade. Go it? Just go in, just go in for oh it. Oh my so goodness me, look at it that. Should. Inside it'll flake apart. Oh, it does. We mm. hope. Oh, it's mm. lovely, isn't it? Isn't that marinade? Oh, really that's punchy. really good. Oh, I feel like I'm on the bake-off. They do that, don't they? Go, mm, yes, that's very good. Yeah, they mm, do. Yes, it's very they tender. <laughs> you, could make a, you could be the new Mary Berry. Nobody can be the new Mary Berry. Well, you could be. A, There's only one Mary Berry. Sufficient replacement. Although I was hoping it would come to ITV and then we could... We could do it. We could be the new one. That would well. be fantastic. Can you imagine all the cake you could eat? Never mind doing the show. We, yeah, we wouldn't judge. Just we eat just, the cake. We'd just sit there in the back eating cake, wouldn't we? <laughs> Cake and Prosecco. Cake. <laughs> Shine them up. Cake. cake, everybody. This is absolutely gorgeous. But these potatoes are... Ooh, yummy. Fantastic. Mm.